Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. Uh, the video looks a little bit better, that's because it is. I have been uh, doing a little bit of lag hunting around here, trying to figure out what's been causing the lag. Uh, first I thought it had to do with the, the monument tower being on the power grid. That was not the issue. Then I started thinking, because it was usually right around here, I started getting that lag spike. <laughs> well, we'll get to that in a second here. Uh, it had something to do with the, uh, the tower that was around, it had to do with the lag spike, so I got rid of the lag spike. Or I got rid of the tower, I should say. And it was still laggy. Then I started thinking about uh, Medusa over there. As you can see, I gave her a bit of a haircut. And I'm going to show you this one quickly here. Um, the way the physics are calculated, as far as I know, from what I've heard anyways, is they're using like in-depth decimal places, like to the 12th and 15th decimal place in some cases. And that makes it difficult for the physics and I started th thinking about this because I've noticed this ever since I built this none of these are powered but they got this wave and what I think is going on is let's say that last decimal place is fluctuating between let's say a two or a three it's technically updating its position in the world which could be affecting the rotating plate even though that's not actually moving it's essentially creating a ripple effect because as soon as one of these moves, it moves another, which moves another, which moves another, which goes back and forth, and it just never ends. So I started thinking about Medusa, so I gave her a bit of a haircut, and that wasn't a problem. And then I started thinking about one other thing that was an issue, and it was the, the freak out that was happening all the time until I planted it, and it was apparently the helicopter. Yeah, there must have been at least three, three or four, even 4,000 blocks there, plus all the air blades. So I dismantled that, and things are actually doing much better around here. Uh, what I was going to do was I was going to go up here and show uh, take this for another ride. Again, I've already checked it out without the lag, and it's definitely better. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm still in hover mode. We're supposed to be improving the speed of that. But uh, hopefully soon I'll be able to start building some big flyers because we're going to be getting those industrial air blades. And from what I've seen from the pitch, they're about 17 blocks wide. They're massive. So we hop in. And as you can see, it's not as choppy. So you might get dizzy. I might get dizzy. But as you can see, it's running definitely a lot better. Ow. Well, yes, even flying around with the, uh, the X-Wing, I was doing loops around the whole flat area here, and it was doing a lot better. And that's good, because today, I want to get another project going that was a bit of a failure last time, and yes, we're going to attempt the spider again. I've been doing some thinking about uh, the issues I had before. I'm going to keep it the same design. I was thinking about trying to sort of decorate it a little bit, make it look more like a spider, try to get abdomen and stuff like that, but... Uh, we'll see how things go as far as weight goes. Uh, what I do plan on doing is the whole bottom carriage of it, which is going to be basically the frame for the legs and everything, is going to be uh, just air blades. Get two rows of air blades, and they're just going to be there to not only lift up the weight, just like how I'm lifting up the weight with the, this here. If I take to only put four of these on here, it'll take some of the weight, but it won't lift up up completely so from what I've seen I'll take like half the weight for instance so at least that way the hover pads will have a little more strength or won't have as much weight to push when they're lifting it up and pushing it forward and I'm hoping that's gonna work uh, other than that oh yeah and then I will also be using them to help the spider turn because that was one of the things I couldn't figure out is how I was gonna get to turn I was just using forwards and backwards to get the legs to move but if I have if I have the the air blades set up so the front half turn one way, the other half turn the other way, then at least I can get a pivot point. So when I'm walking forward, if I turn, maybe it'll sort of create this and sort of you know what I mean, force it to turn one way or not the other. But anyways, enough chit chat. More building. What is that over there? How did that end up all the way over there? That was over on that side of the mountain. Yeah, I'm going to take this one out too because it's got hinges. So let me take this out and then uh, I'll bring you back when it's time to start building.
All right, there we go. So before I do anything, I have done a backup save already. Uh, what I want to do is I actually want to do a leg test, uh, make sure the legs are working the way they are. Uh, might as well explain to no, it's nothing. I'm just looking at a notification here. Uh, explain to you what's going on. If you didn't miss the first time I built this thing, uh, the way I've got this set up is I'm using the forward and back controls to actually control the legs. So what happens is when I push forward, um, I'm not exactly sure exactly how it's configured, but when I push forward, half the legs, this one, this one, this one, and this one, are going to not only lift up, but they're going to move forward. At the same time, the other four legs are going down and going back at the same time. So I'm controlling all eight legs with forward and back, uh, but they're doing opposite what they're doing. So this one's going forward and up. This one's going down and back. This one's going forward and up. This one's that one's going down and back. And this one's going down and back. And then this one is going forward and up. So then that way it sort of gets sort of a walking setup. And then you probably notice I set the air blades up here. Uh, they're only here to carry the weight because I had problems with this thing actually lifting up off the ground and actually moving under its own weight, especially when it's trying to lift up with only four legs. I've got 30, what have I got here? I think i got 24 air blades here, so this should be able to get some of the weight up at least to the point where I can start walking. I also have them set to turn, so these 12 here are going this way, those 12 over there are going that way, so it creates sort of a pivot point, because until I get keybind, there's absolutely no way I can actually control this thing. So, let's uh, get into third person here, let's... Get our build vision off because it's so confusing sometimes. And we'll just turn it on and see how the legs work. Uh, there will be no actual movement created by the air blades other than other than lifting up. Oh, we got something stuck. Okay, so that just means I'm a little too close. What is that? Xanite? Something? I have no idea. But just make sure we can get these legs moving. Uh, yeah, that one's good. Maybe they're actually stuck in those blocks too. That could be, could be an issue. Give me a moment here. Well, despite my best efforts, this isn't going to work. Uh, apparently the hover pads just aren't as strong as they used to be. I know they can move the legs no problem and the legs they hardly move now like barely so the only thing we can really do is uh, test to see if uh, the whole air blade thing was gonna gonna work out if not just maybe this thing will end up in orbit like the last one all right so I'm actually gonna go back to the other cockpit that I put in the back looks more like a scorpion than a spider but, I do believe, no, still too heavy. Wow, I've got those things revved right up. But it was worth a shot. I'll have to think of something else for this. Spider's going to walk one day. I'll, I guess I'll have to start looking at different walking methods i'm sure someone's gonna be yelling at me oh well use the tires use the wheels well that's not how i do things but anyways i want to call the episode here uh, nice to at least see good enough frame rate around here but anyways i uh, thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did leave me a like and i'll see you in the next one later